And greetings everybody, welcome back to Rebuilding the Commonwealth with myself. If you missed me, if you missed me, tell me you missed me, come on, that's better. I know you missed me, I know you like these builds, I know you like me building, I know you like the videos. I'm just sorry that I have a full time job. <laughs> I do sometimes uh, wonder if I did make uh, building my full time job whether I'd actually have completed the series by now. It's been all, I think, three years, nearly four probably, since I actually started putting this series together. And here we are four years later, still dilly dallying around. <laughs> anyway, we're back here at the Warwick Homestead, ready to build some more. Uh, off camera, I have just simply added the walls down below, under here, so the walls for this building now go down to the sea floor. If you do like what you see here, please make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, it really helps me out. And if you've got any guesses for what this building is going to be, please drop them in the comments below. We're not going to finish it this episode, by the way. I know we're not. <clears throat> but, let's get building, because I'm sure you're eager to see what the hell is going on. So, last episode we set this um, industrial looking concrete building up and it's now looking very big, very spacious and rather desolate and empty. But that is going to change today. So let's go from the, the uh, top down. So this obviously looks completely bare, it looks completely empty, rubbish, but that is fine. We have... Um, we have some stuff we can do. Now one of the things I noticed in the industrial catwalk pack here is that we had a rather big piece that says elevator or lift rather. Now this isn't a functional lift by any means but that doesn't mean it doesn't have its uses. So what I'm going to do is place this in the center like so. I think that's about as good as I can get that actually. And let's just bring it down on the Z axis. Yeah, so bring this down on the Z axis. Uh, I don't want it right at the top, that is for sure. Yeah, so we'll bring this down to ground level. I think it is. more or less at a parallel to this. That is fine. That's about what we want. Excellent. Now, you can see here this has hooks on the side, which I'm hoping I can play into with this. Now, these frames are a little bit too big for what I'm thinking of. I want to frame this just a little bit so that it has more substance to it. So let's just add a frame to this lift, as it were. Because uh, as I have ideas for this, I want to make sure they play out as perfectly as they can. So remember, if you've got suggestions for the uh, builds, please do let me know. Uh, I do like, like reading your suggestions. There's, there are a couple of commenters who, without fail, leave one every episode, and I love it. I do love seeing particularly you regulars who are commenting on my videos on a regular basis. It's, uh, it is really great to see. You know, the people actually sit around and binge watch my content. <laughs> it's... Uh, it is an honor. Uh, I understand some of you are probably wondering where that collaboration was with the other YouTuber. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get in touch with said YouTuber for, uh, well, since I made that announcement. I believe that particular person is currently preoccupied with real life stuff at the moment. So that seems to be on a back burner, which is the story of my life at the moment. I hate these things happen, and the good things come to those who wait. Or so I'm told. 
And what I'm going to do here is frame this. So I'm going to very carefully frame this. So this has some substance to it. That is very strange, but I, I will work with it if I can. Yep, so what the, uh, the, tr uh, the truss light, or the trellis, I forget the name for the pattern in the middle of the beam. Uh, I want that to focus looking at each other here. That's a little bit too inwards, so I want that to be out like that. Luckily I have so much steel for this. I've um, To do that wall underneath this building, I've had to get more concrete than ever before. It's, um, it's almost embarrassing how much concrete I've had to buy <laughs> to keep up, keep in touch with it. Luckily I do have some trash sitting around the settlement in terms of guns, old armors, those kind of things. So I could could get away with it. I get away with selling some excess to keep my cap supply. But what on earth did I just put that so far in, into the beam? This is a little bit too far out. Excellent. So I'm going to stack up the metal beams here. To create this housing. There we are. Let's just go up top and see what that looks like. See if we need to amend the top of the structure. So I'm trying to create a claustrophobic but functional appearance here. And that side is already coming together. It's the other I'm going to have a little bit of trouble with. <clears throat> ah, that pretty much lines up exactly as I want it to be. Will another lift piece snap into here? Oh yeah, it would, but obviously it's going to be outside of the boundaries, which is fine. Let's put in some more of these. Will these snap? Yes. Yes, they will. Will they match? They will. These are going to be a pain in the backside to fit. Yeah, they're not going to snap for the ones that need to go this way. Which is good fun, I suppose. Oh my god, that is absolutely terrible. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to leave that for now. As it is, that is kind of acceptable as it stands. Now I think this Kuro tab under structural, uh, this um, this Kuro tab is probably one of the best things I've downloaded <clears throat> because I've got things like, for example, airplane fuselage, which if you look at this is really nicely maintained metal for the most part. And some of these have the perfect curves I need and the perfect texture I need. These bits of scrap metal which look in good shape. These navy blues, these uh, orange corrugated panels are the perfect kind of ship materials for building the craft that we plan to do.
at a later stage. So trust me, this is a game changer, this tab. And I've already got a ton of really cool ideas for what to do with this. So um, yeah, keep an eye out for what I've got in mind. Now considering we have what is essentially a lift, if I put in these frame variants for these, can I create almost like a cage over the over these? Can I make it snap to the wall piece or will it have to go? It's going to have to be a bit lower than that. And I'm going to have to drag the pieces over each other. Which is, uh, is something I can do but it's not ideal. I have a feeling I'm going to have to do the snapping in manually. Yeah, my only problem is they don't snap to each other. Not top to bottom anyway. That's fine though. I think we do have like, mesh stuff across here. I mean, look at this. We, we even have like starter structures here. Things to properly get us started. As the name implies, that is. Problem is, it does create a fair bit of lag. We've got window shutters here. We've got we've got pretty much anything you could possibly want. Unfortunately, I think I must be mistaken. Oh no, rebar. Yeah, alas, of course. Then we do have these great walls. Never mind. I'll have to uh, sort that out another way. <clears throat> Apologies. Still shaking the flu. No, these are. Starter structures. I don't want those. I think it's these platforms and panels. Yeah. So as you can see, we have these warehouse platforms, which I'm sure you might recognise from various places around the Commonwealth. My question is, do they have the metal supports for them? Arguably not, but. I'm sure that is a an issue that we can overcome at a later stage. We even got gangplanks here, isn't that cool? Uh, these beams might be. They could actually be in here, you know. I mean, if not, we can always improvise with uh, these sorts of things, chain link posts and all that. Uh, I'm sure there has to be. Aha, shelf poles. That's going to be these things. I like how the pillar snaps to it, but its own stuff does not. That's probably going to take a little bit of messing around with. Which is fine. We have things we can do elsewhere. Just so I'm not messing around and screwing with something that I can't arguably do. So up to the top of the building then. So we have this, um, shall I say, structure in the middle. Now I don't like how big this gap is compared to the clearance around the crane. So we will put in some more of these catwalks. Industrial. Now the industrial catwalks here. I just want one with the railing on one side only. These. And I can put in these railings like so. Yeah, 
that's it. And we can then offset these with a railing over this side. And we're going to have to mess with these manually because they don't quite snap to the edge of a tile. They, they're lovely pieces, but they take a bit of messing around. Like so. That's it. You see, you do learn to um, move these quite quickly once you get the hang of it. But that's the issue, is having the patience to, to do it. And I am quite surprised I do have the patience. Uh, normally these sort of things go flying out of the window when I, uh, when I do these. Be fair, if I'm creating a makeshift it's not exactly makeshift, it is a damn lift. It's just not going to be a functional one. What I might do is move these to the edge and put this in here. Yeah. And then what I can do is put in the industrial catwalk and I can just use a short piece. right in the middle then just expand the railings over to the edge and we're good as gold or as close enough as we can be uh, industrial railing on the other side should also cover it one two and three I'm so glad I have all this steel I really am uh, having a steel but then again it is the most common material in the game I'd like to say it is anyway I find steel in just about everything I'm sure just the guns that I have taken apart will probably make up most of my steel supply and I've taken apart a lot of guns and I've sold a lot as well there we go. Excellent. So we have the railing all the way around. Now, there is a bit too much concrete here for my liking. So I want to add a little bit of stuff here to break up the concrete look. You see, we have things like these catwalk trims. And I'm not looking for a green one. These I beams, metal pipes, no thanks. What are these? Ah, oh, traffic pylons, fair enough. A deck spacer. I've seen one of those before, I'll be honest. I uh, don't think. No, these are wooden. The proper wooden ones. I don't think they'll fit. I mean, I could use these I beams as as a way of. Um, I mean, I would say that, but the ends there poke up through the floor, which doesn't exactly give a good look. But I can use these I beams potentially for the interior. I'm not a fan of this green trim, I'll be honest. I think the trim looks a bit tacky. And these chrome posts are way too big and would take me forever to uh, position out. Oh, holy crap. Oh, these are for bridges and really big structures, aren't they? I will admit, I've had a brief look through everything here, but I haven't... Um, I haven't given myself a huge overview of these. No, those are the deck spaces that I was uh, surprised to see. Okay, we might have to look at 
a different plan of attack here. We'll check that out at a different time. But what we need is something to go underneath these catwalks and around the concrete edge, kind of to, to break up the monotonous looking texture that we have here, as it were. This is the one thing with this tab, is it does create a massive amount of lag. Some of the uh, things you have in it are so detailed, it's unreal. So, there is always that. <clears throat> now, under these things here, we have these large metal columns, which they do snap to corners. Uh, are these two stories or three, is my question. They do look to be two stories, which suits me just fine because it means I can set up some more. Uh, so I can set these up all around. Uh, I will make sure it doesn't, of course, get in the way. I mean, luckily these concrete walls are pretty thick, so they won't uh, poke through the other end. Okay, yeah, of course. This is going to be a little bit closer because I've moved it out of the way of the stairs, and that one at the end is going to be a little bit further away, which is fine. Now one of the big metal ones that we have, I believe it's under the structural metal. Industrial catwalks. So we have these really big eye beams, but they're not the colour that I'm looking for. We have dark frames, which is not particularly what I'm looking for. We also have these really nice scaffolding pieces, which I know are going to get a little bit of a workout at some point. Uh, the trussing here is, again, not really a colour that I'm looking for. I do quite like this red metal because it looks rather industrial. Uh, I was about to say these don't snap, but they obviously do. These are red, aren't they? I mean they look at the bottom. Okay, no they're they're rusty more than anything. Let's get out a gun that I can actually use the torch when I put it away with. <laughs> because uh, that is getting on my nerves a little bit. Okay, so we don't even have red railings, which is a bit, bit disappointing. Chain link walls. Those are very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, so we don't have what I was thinking of. Uh, that's uh, my steam, by the way, not yours. There's one of my close friends coming online. I know whenever I hear a notification in someone else's game that I'm watching, it, um, it spurs me to go, oh, that must be my... It's not. <laughs> it's never yours. It's always the person on the... Uh, on the video, so don't worry about it. You know what, I think these trellises might be a good shower. Do did they, did they snap, is the question. Do they snap together? No, they don't. That, that is an issue. 
that does annoy me as well. Just a little bit. Well, not much, but it does annoy me a little bit. So what I'm going to do is put the trellis here half in the wall. Because these appear to be perfectly over two storeys. Okay, so that trellis is very slightly poking through the wall. It happened, it's no big deal. So let's just bring it back to me by three units. And then we'll quickly go and check again. Yeah, it's still poking through. Yeah, sorry about the uh, drop in frames here. I can't really help it. The game really does not like some of these pieces. That's fine. I'll, I'll leave that there as a point of reference, which is fine. <clears throat> Wow, that is some serious ass lag. Anyway, my question is, as well, is although that isn't working, like I can't snap the posts to the uh, the column, at the shelves, I'm sorry, can I place down the posts and then place the unit sometimes they do work but they work a different way uh, no of course they don't I mean why would they why would they make my life easier why would they ever make my life easier so yeah I'm gonna have to line these up perfectly in order to get these to work which, I mean, it's not ideal, but I can make it happen. Okay. So I'm just going to move these up just a little bit because the way they're sat in the floor at the moment is not that nice to look at. I really need to stop letting perfect be the enemy of good but it's a gift I'm born with. But for example these, um, these exams that I'm taking right now to um, qualify myself as a for financial advisor, uh, pensions, investments, all that kind of stuff. The exams for the book, the book says it needs about 60, about 60 hours worth of study for you to be ready for your exam. I've probably done about double that and I'm, I'm almost like learning the textbook fucking verbatim at this point because I want to get my head around it because it's, it's a topic I'm very much interested in and I could probably talk all day about it but I'm like when it comes to actually passing an exam like I don't, don't want to sound big headed when I say it but I know I'm going to pass this exam not because I'm a big headed twat which let's face it me saying this probably I would very much qualify for that uh, don't get me wrong but also, at the end of the day, I'm going well overkill, and a lot of it I probably don't need to know. I don't need to know for an exam, but I want to know it because I want to know that I'm good at what I do. So I don't need to do it perfectly, but I want to. A big part of me wants to do it perfectly. And it's the same with builds like this. I spend most of my time here being like, yeah, want to make this perfect, want to, want to, you know, do everything perfectly and make the perfect build. And then I end up making something not quite as good as I envisaged because I want to keep making things better when I don't need to do so. I say it's a blessing and a curse. 
a blessing and a curse. So yeah, I'm going to earmark all of that. Do we have short red beams here that I can use? Now these all look a lot bigger. Don't have anything red over here. Only got these, but these ones are really large. Thing is, I could just put down this post in the first place. Because if I do that, it's really not going to make a difference. Because I've had to mess with this one. I uh, don't need to put any columns. Well, to be fair, I do. I do need to put columns this side, but yeah, if I put them here, they're going to get right in the way of this and it's going to look kind of stupid. But I suppose if I place them down as they should, that is not as they should. That is as they should. That's way too close. That's better. And then if I just simply lower this. got a uniform look. Uh, the excess of the column here I can hide when I actually put a trim on this stupid thing. Uh, that column will have to be positioned manually of course and these ones will not. Oh yeah of course that one will as well because I messed around with its position. That's fine. And then I just need to shift this one across just a little bit. Like that. The thing is, they don't even glitch through, which is uh, quite surprising, actually. Now these walls, I think some of them here are good for partitions, like these uh, these ones here with uh, slats in them. That's the one I'm looking for, slats. I know this one calls them slits, but I believe they should be called slats. So I'm going to place a couple of these in here. Uh, I think we're going to have to get a trim that covers that top edge there, but this is only really serving as a partition. There we go. So we'll have a sort of right angle to have a partitioned area in here. And let's place in one more there. There should be, again, post beams in support, metal. We can use a 
a slightly smaller one here. Let's use a double mailbox. Just two mailboxes welded together. <laughs> just use that. Yes, that's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. To be honest, we could just use an I-beam. I mean, the I-beams in here would look fine. As long as they're not poking through the top of the, the structure there. Which, uh, again, shouldn't be an issue. We can also use the I-beams to, uh, to segregate some of these areas out. Like, for example, putting an I-beam in the middle of the room. So we're holding up the concrete. Now, there is another present problem that I want to address now that we've got things mostly in the right place. I say as I have to move something out of the way of my stairs. And that is the fact that I have a torch on. And I would really rather not have a torch on. <laughs> I would rather have some damn lights around here. So let's get some light and let's break up this this disgusting concrete wall at the back here because as much as this building is going to be necessary for the operation the canonical operation of the settlement it doesn't exactly look the nicest <clears throat> I've run over my headset cable there that was good of me mm -mm -mm. Take a nice drink. Not going to be caught with a dry mouth this time. Now, I do think some track lights would work. However, one of the big industrial elements of this are these coloured wall lights. So let's put these red lights in because this is technically a restricted area. So I'm going to place a few of these either side of what will be the doors, the entranceways, and windows. I was going to go for a bit of symmetry there and miscounted the windows. I mean, we can still do this, the uh, symmetry. For some reason, I thought there was another window in the middle for a second there. See, as you can see, these illuminate essentially nothing. <laughs> these are for decoration only. Uh, we are going to place a few more of them in here, though, where it is a warehouse kind of esque feel. So, we're going to place a few of these red lights up in corners or or wherever. Not said warehouse esque. I haven't given you any clues. Just warehouse-esque building. I mean, it does kind of give that vibe. I appreciate. I mean, it kind of does. That's why I fucking said it. But you know what I mean. Yeah, so as you can see, these red lights by themselves illuminate basically nothing. Damn, that, that trellis has got a very large... I want to call it a collision hitbox or whatever it is. Come on. There we go. Red light. Great. So we're now in a pretty much pitch black warehouse with no lights. Now I would like to think these ones would do a good job. They're quite nice big fluorescent lights. Yeah, for an industrial setting, I think that these give off enough light. Because if you've got an industrial building, it's unlikely people are going to be working in here at night. You might have maybe one or two people to, to look out for the building, but you're not going to have tons and tons of people in. So having a light like this may be be quite ideal. I want to place these kind of in the joints between some of these concrete 
bits here. Now I'm not sure how much I care for symmetry here. This is one thing I severely dislike about placing lights in rows is you can never get them to line up properly. And I mean, they looked like they were on the ceiling. There, they were not. Like, that is how far away they were. Those were nowhere near. This one was. Uh, these ones were not. Okay, so I need to put one more in here. So they don't like snapping to ceilings, these things. They really don't. But hey. Yeah, I'd like to think that's decent light for down here. I mean, I'll probably break it up because these spotlight effects on the walls are a little bit creepy. Now over here, because this is a partitioned area... I am going to light this a different way. So let's just place a couple of these so I can see what the hell I'm doing. I don't know we have 30 of them in storage. I think having these hanging in front of the partition is probably a good thing. So that people don't walk into the, uh, the wall there. And having an industrial light on this will keep accidents from occurring. And let's put another one over the middle here. I'm not keen on the rain coming in, but that's just going to be a price we pay for working in this building. Oh yeah, I didn't change the railings. Of course I didn't. I don't know how well this is going to show up on YouTube, by the way. It probably looks terrible on YouTube, I'm not going to lie. Back up onto the roof. Am I? Oh shit, I'm over encumbered. I could have swore right there. Sorted that out. I must have bought a bit too much junk, probably. Now these cranes here we set up last episode. I'm still neglecting to put in the other piece here. <clears throat> but there is a reason for that, don't worry. Don't you worry about that. Now, we need some light up here. So, I like these construction lights. The only issue I have is that they require a direct power connection, which deters me from using them. There aren't very many of these which create a decent lighting effect, and these look way too, you know, residential. I mean, these fluorescent ceiling lights, uh, I could probably put them in the cabs of the cranes here. They don't exactly provide a, a huge amount of light. But they provide something for getting there. Getting the whole place started. So let's grab another one of those. 
So this is the one time I actually quite like it being night time. Uh oh, it is a rat storm blowing in. Now I think because these um, these cranes are stationary, you know I haven't actually put them on a, a base or anything like that, like a mobile base. I think having lights on the front of them would not be out of place. So let's put down a couple of these subway lights, almost like headlights for these uh, for these cranes. I don't know why this one isn't playing ball, but uh, I'm quite used to having to mess with these manually at this point, so not to worry. Okay, so we have headlights. Now I think these would probably have lights on the crane arms so that they can be seen. So let's put some lights up on the crane arms. I'll have to do the other one myself off camera because <laughs> fuck climbing to something that high. I definitely don't want to put a strobe light. I do care about my viewers with uh, with epilepsy and all that. Having lights along the side. Would not be out of place either. After all, these cranes are here to be seen. They're not here to hide. So having one on the non-cab side... Okay, why does this one not play ball that the other crane does? I don't understand that at all. This one wants to be a pain in the ass. The other, other crane does not. I don't understand that and probably never will. Now, I appreciate this is all walled off, but or rather railed off but I think it might be worth putting in probably one of those I-beams so that's the one downside is this takes forever these eye beams for a moment I thought that actually snapped to something I was about to be overjoyed but no such luck no such luck I'm afraid so let's put some eye beams into the corners of this we'll rotate them so they fit yeah I mean that is the best we can do in terms of making them look uniform. So I want to try and get the railing sort of lined halfway in, which is fine. Straighten that up. Place a nice set of these. it and now I can place down probably some of these industrial wall lights let's place them a bit lower to the ground so they provide a bit more coverage with the light
uh, I'll place them on the outside edges as opposed to the inside. I think they'll be more needed on the outside edges than anything. That's it. <clears throat> That's better. You're much less likely to fall off now. I say lighting these things does come with some unique challenges, I would admit. Oh yes, because that does have a, a way of falling off. Actually, I don't need one of those. I think it's under miscellaneous. I think it's under Homemaker, actually. Miscellaneous lights. I think we have, like, a fire barrel's lanterns. Yeah, that's it. Just wanted to make sure that wasn't the one that had physics applied. It's worth putting a few of these down, just so that people don't fall in here at night. I mean, that will probably kill you <laughs> if you fell down that in real life. <clears throat> Not really worth taking the risk. I can tell you that for nothing. Right. Now this is curved over the top here, so I haven't got a problem with that. But we are going to need some kind of safety railing. And I'm hoping this Curo tab will help us find something. Now, metal retextures. Now we have yellow railings in the middle, so I think yellow up the top here would actually fit fairly well. So let's try and put in these scaffolding railings. And then hopefully we'll be able to see by daytime, which it almost is, how, if at all, these look good. I really hope they do because I mean, this isn't exactly a lazy solution but it is one that fits with the feet. It just happens to be easy to do. <clears throat> don't, I want to make sure I don't fall off my own building because that that would be a tragedy. Plus I want these railings to be just low enough that they don't uh, get in the way of the counterweight when the crane has to move. I mean the crane won't move, it is a static item for the sake of uh, settlement building purposes. But uh, this is going to be a pain. There we go. See, turn off surface snapping does you wonders. Yeah, you know what? I don't think that looks too bad. Yeah, they're a bit they're a bit battered and all that, but this kind of looks like we've salvaged the railings and brought them back for use. You know, maybe one of our Minutemen has been down the quarry and come back with it. Ugh, excuse me. Cool. Bloody hell. <laughs> this Kuro turn, man, I swear to God. Right. <laughs> Homemaker. Now, decorations. I'm looking for warehouse supplies. Now I'm going to place down some pallets across the top here. Because uh, funny enough the crane actually can carry pallets. 
And I'm going to place a couple of these munitions crates lying around. And I'm going to put in some of these wooden crates because, of course, these are almost designed to fit perfectly on these flatbed cards. So if you place the flatbed carts and then turn them like so, they fit pretty much exactly. So a little bit like the storage area down below, I am going to adorn these with some of these vault tech style crates. I am going to do some extra work to these off camera, so uh, don't worry about it for now. These are pretty rough drafts for what I'm looking for here. Okay, so I think those will be good enough reference for me when I get to it. Oh, they do have physics applied. Oh, that sucks. I'll have to sort out lighting over here at another stage. Yeah, oh, great. Fine. Now this will be the industrial room for up top. I was about to say what the building was, but I'm leaving that for you guys to guess. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to hate me. <laughs> you guys are going to absolutely hate me. No. I could have swore there was... Uh... So, I mean, look, I just basically rebuilt this crane from scratch. That's what I've got up top. And these give me ideas. These really big forklifts and the mega loaders. Not sure how I can get away with them though, but. This is something I do want to add to a settlement a vertibird. These vertibirds are going to be part of the Minuteman Air Force. Ideally, you want to put one of these down when we do eventually get the Air Force. But um, beggars can't be choosers at the moment. One step at a time. Now, I want to decorate this wall here. And I want to put some proper lights on it. But I'm going to leave some of this to you guys. Let me know how you think I should break up this concrete shite over here. Because as much as this building is necessary, it is canonically necessary for what I plan to do here, there's a lot of unceremonious building here and a lot of lighting to do but i think this is a good place to leave it i am sitting on nearly the hour mark for recording i'm probably going to put together some of the really tedious crap um, together off uh, off camera like these shelves you really don't want to see me mess around with these for the best part of four and a half fucking hours so i'm going to do that off camera uh, things like the lights i will probably do on camera just so you can see this place taking shape um, but I really need your suggestions for this one so if you guys have some ideas on how I can beautify this a little bit I mean the inside I'm not too concerned about uh, I have plenty of ideas on how to mess around with this um, outside this thing just looks like a concrete slab of shit so <laughs> If you guys can help me beautify this, I'll be grateful. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is where I'm going to leave you. Um, leave any of your suggestions, whether that's uh, build ideas, uh, Minuteman names, um, Minuteman rank suggestions, whatever. Drop that in the comments below and I'll happily have a look as soon as I, uh, as soon as I see your comments. But for now, this is where I'm going to leave you. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you are enjoying this build and want to see more of it, please make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. And hit that notification bell because you'll always know when I put out an episode. Make sure you don't miss anything. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care, goodbye, and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. <laughs>